Welcome back, Hookaholics. A little recap. Today's Monday, but I actually got this yesterday, Sunday, delivered FedEx. It is our June fish vault. So let's check out and see if they've uh, actually given us some fishing gear uh, this month. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll crack into that box over there. As I said, um, today is Monday, but I actually picked this up yesterday. It was delivered FedEx. It is our June's Fish Vault. This is their Elite, their top of the line. Uh, as all you know, I used to have the Hunter's Hall, but they stopped shipping them to me. I don't know. I haven't canceled. They withdrew the money, but they haven't supplied the product. So that said, I'm not very, very pleased. Fish Vault was the go-between as I was wait waiting for Angler's Hall to kind of pick back up and start shipping. I mean, they did take a pause in the previous, uh, for, for the winter months, and then they were supposed to come back, and they started, and then they stopped. I don't know. Uh, but I picked up this box, which is about $50 more per month, uh, in order to kind of fill in between, because I'm always looking for a high-end, high-quality fishing gear, not so much fishing tackle, but fishing gear supply company. I want things like the rods and the reels and the the fishing gloves and the and the apparel that came in Angler's Hall. Uh, fish Vault, similar to Angler's Hall, is a, a line cut off from their original hunting line. So you had Hunt Vault became Fish Vault, Hunter's Hall became Angler's Hall. And so far I've been hit or miss about, I mean, adequately about 30% impressed, which means I'm not so impressed with Fish Vault. Angler's Hall, out the gate, I was, you know, 75-80% impressed. Uh, they gave me, uh, bar none, they gave me mostly 90% fishing-inspired equipment. Uh, fish Bolt, not so much. That all said, we got our June box here. Let's see uh, what we got involved in June. Now, as always, I'm just opening this now. haven't seen what's in it. So we're all going to get this uh, in, in real time. So, um, yeah, that's right. Okay, so they went with the crate paper again. Let's see what we got. We got a big box there, that's for sure. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, not impressive. All righty, so uh, we'll look for our, our card right here on top. Today we have Lend, Lead Lenser, L-E-D-L-E-N-S-E-R, Outdoor Edge, Gear Aid again, uh, 0.6 and peat dryer as our focus product lines for this month. So each month you get this card of what's in the box card. They'll list a, a group of products that are focused uh, for this month. And we're going to start with a big, big item here. $50 value, they say. The peat dryer bulldog boot dryer. Boot dryer. Okay, if you're a waiting fisherman... Um, yeah, I can kind of see a boot dryer, um, but fishing specific, certainly not for the packaging. I guess a boot dryer if you're fishing for soccer balls, a boot dryer if you're fishing for pheasant, a boot dryer if you're fishing for corn on the fields. Um, I don't, I don't call this a fishing item. This is not an angler specific, fishing specific item. $50, and I already have a boot and shoe dryer that I got for $5. That works absolutely phenomenally. They're individual. It's not the stack. Um, I, I call these the, the smoke stack style. We have the two tubes, and you put your boot on upside down. This The one I have is actually two individual boot dryers, and you put them inside the shoe with the fans and vent, and you plug them into the wall. Um, either way, it's, you know, it's nice to have... This is something, even if they were trying to pawn it off as a fishing product, this is something you sell out in the winter for people ice fishing, for people winter, wet weather, fall, weather, spring, maybe fishing. Uh, not June, summer, 
No. You go out fishing on your boat, you go out fishing on the, on the, you know, on the, on the, on the bank, and this is not a necessity at this point. $50 in the value of this box. Uh, pardon my disillusionment. Next, uh, Cyclops 300 Lumens Waterproof Spotlight, or Hybrid Puck Expandable Lantern. So we had this, the Cyclops in a previous uh, box, and I did not get it this time. Okay, so that's, that is a check in the positive for Fish Vault. They didn't repeat the item in my box. Since I got the Cyclops a few boxes ago, uh, which was that spotlight, had the little SOS feature, which I do like. That was, you know, for a person who's a boat angler or a kayak angler, that is a good item to have. But in this case, we have a Puck 150, 150 lumen expandable lantern, flashlight, and charger. So you've got this. I see these a lot. Uh, okay, it comes with a USB cable for recharging. And... Let's see how this one operates. Oh, we've got a charge. So there's your flashlight. It's charged to one green. Let's see. There's one green illuminated LED, and then it goes yellow. So you have a, a low, media or low and a high. It has a 5-volt input. I, it is solar rechargeable as well. And the idea is it expands. Oh, this too, I think. That's not an SOS. So you have your lantern, your bright light, a low light, and a flasher. So you do have, at least you have a beacon. And it's the accordion style plastic, and then it twists to lock down, which is, uh, that's cool. I mean, it, it's decent. Nothing, uh, nothing super to write home about. It does have a hanging hook here. Let's see if I can get that figured out. I don't have nails. I'm a dude. There we go. You got a little hanging a lantern hanger there if you're out in your tent. Again, nice to have. Definitely favorable. This is something good if you could have mounted it on a pole for a kayak or whatever as a uh, beacon and a, and a uh, locator light, but not angler specific. Camping, yes. Not angler. Uh, next up. Another flashlight. So two, two illumination products in this box. Now they don't have a price listed on this, so we'll refer back to our former one because it's the Cyclops or this. So I'm assuming it's the same product value that they're assessing for this, but they don't list on the card the value again. Interesting. That is a bit shady, and I'll tell you why. They sold me the Cyclops or sold me on the Cyclops a few bo boxes back. Say they said it was a $50 value. By not listing this, I'm not going to have to go and research to see if this truly is a $50 value. By not listing it again and being able to compare card to card 50-50, this could be a $30 value. Or they could have put 30 on this, 50 on the other, and say, hey, hey, no, the Cyclops was never a $50 value. It was a $30 value. These are the things that I intentionally, inquisitively, acknowledge as scamish, very disreputable. Um, if you're gonna list something and you have a product list, every card, put it on there. It shows laziness and it shows a potential for giving a customer something that is not what they deserve, not up to snuff, up to par with what they should expect. Illuminating item number two, LED lensers, LED lensers, P7 flashlight for $40. So we have a tactical flashlight. Uh, I'm not going to open this up. Let's see if it's... Okay, they have a little tester thing. Oh, other way. Ooh, well, mighty bright tactical flashlight with a little mirror on here so you can look at it and sp sp blind yourself. Um, takes, comes with four, looks like AAA batteries. You know, four no-name AAA batteries come in. So that's nice. It's probably got the little 9-volt or little uh, watch battery in there. And then it comes with the... Uh, you know, with the tester, and then it comes with the actual triple A's. Um, looks like this is visible up to 450 meters? No. LM. Lumens. I guess it's lumens. Yeah, 450 lumens uh, at the high power. Mid power is 250 lumens, and low power is 40, 40 lumens. All right, so there you go. 
So this evidently has a high, low, and medium. Um, and a focus. It's got the focus ring so you can reduce the cone of your light and focus it down really pinpoint or, or obviously open it up for a much more broader uh, sight path. $40. Tactical flashlights are, you know, very, very um, uh, in, the, in the now. So, um, I mean, I'm not going to question the $40 value. I'm going to say it probably is a cheap $40 value. You can get these things up $200, $300. Um, military tactical versions, police tactical versions, um, you know, $150, $200, $300. Uh, so I'll, I'll give them that. Is it waterproof is more important. Um, let's see. Does not say. Seamless transition from low beam to high beam. Not waterproof by... by uh, it's rain, it's weather resistant because they have the little cloud with the raindrop, but they do not have a waterproof mark. So is this fishing? No, because it's not waterproof. If it was waterproof, like the Cyclops, I could say fishing. No, this is the trunk of my car. That's what that is. All right, four to go. Outdoor Edge Chow Pow. Outdoor Edge. Outdoor Edge Chow Pow. That's a little nice little uh, accompanying sack there. All right, what do we got here? Make the cut. Mealtime multi-tool. Fishing, right? Outdoor Edge Chow Pow for $29. Now, we already got an eating tool, a little spoon uh, fork tool not too long ago. Let's see what this is. I bet you, I don't know. Okay. Well, this is different. <laughs> So, we've got a spoon, fork, comes with wrench notches for different sized nuts, uh, comes with a knife as well, looks to be on the back side, yeah, got a nice little knife, sharp, uh, let's see, alright, so then that, how you, Jesus Christmas, I'm probably going to stab myself to, oh, okay, that comes up there. There's your fork with your little wrench, can opener, bottle opener. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. A little spring metal clip here for folding back your blade. And it's simply, you line up the fork spoke inside that opening, and you slide it over top of this keeper pin, and then slide it down. Voila. Locks in place, and that keeps your fork tight, spoon, camping, not fishing, although this definitely would come in handy eating that cereal that they gave me in the other package. Um, nice little carry satchel. I like that. I'll keep this for going to work. It's nice to have it in my lunch bag in case, uh, you know, no plastic forks or, or, or knives are available or I have another piece of steak and I need something a little bit stronger to cut into my steak than, uh, than a plastic knife. Outdoor Edge Chow Pow, $29. $30 for a multi-use utensil. Not fishing. 0.6 Tactical Tracker Socks. Okay. A pair of socks. Hiking Light 37.5. Made in the USA. These are size medium... Size 10, 12, woman's euro, blah, 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 blah. Um, light socks. So these are not extra light, ultra light, medium heavy, or extra heavy. These are mid-range socks. Pack of socks. 0.6 tactical socks. $25 for a pair of socks. Yeah, okay. $25 for some socks. Yeah. I can get, you know, high quality huskies. I can get, you know, yeah, never mind. Twenty-five dollars for the socks. Gear Aid Fire Strand, five hundred and fifty paracord. All right, we get ourselves. Please tell me that's plastic. I'm gonna fucking love this. We got ourselves a carabiner and some fire center. Paracord. Let's try to get out my my spoon spork fork thingy again. Because I gotta hear this. Maybe. This might just be metal. Nope, that's plastic. 
I think that's plastic. No, well, maybe it's metal. So I'm gonna assume that that's aluminum with a uh, powder coat on it, because it does have that that aluminum kind of feel to the clasp. Regardless, we got ourselves a little tiny carabiner I wouldn't put much weight on, and uh, some power cord. And this is the fire strand, so it's got the tough inside that you can actually use, uh, scrape it down, and you can start a fire using it. Again, from Gear Aid, this is 50 foot of paracord. All I'm going to use that for is tying off stuff onto my car roof. <laughs> ah, paracord. It might work, you know, for an anchor. If you're using, you know, an anchor trolley on your kayak, I wouldn't put much weight to this. Um, let's see, what is it? Seven strand paracord. Should be pretty strong. They don't have a weight rating on it. Uh, yeah, not fishing. Gear Aid, $12. I would have sold that pair of socks for $12. Not $25, but $12 for the Fire Strand Paracord. And finally, holy moly, an actual fishing company and an actual angler specific fishing product. Zebco rod caddy for ten dollars so the least expensive product in the entire package the least profitable to me the least investment into my purchase of hundred and fifty dollars a ten dollar item is the only fishing specific item in here and it's a zebco fishing caddy now it's a single yep a single uh rod fishing caddy um basically your shoulder sling it's designed for actually two-piece rods i wonder i don't know if it'll actually work with a single maybe a seven footer will pull it off i don't know it depends on how much these elastic bands will stretch but uh, basically the idea is it's two pieces you put one piece on the butt end the second piece protects your um your rod tip the strand of uh elastic material gets cinched down between uh the butt end and the butt end and the center um uh, of the uh, connecting point of the second piece and then the top of the butt end con connecting piece and the rod tip go in this end and the two halves are set into this containment unit and then you sling it over your shoulder and this way you can walk around and not worry about breaking your rod which is nice to have a caddy um ten dollar caddy yes totally worth ten bucks i could get this you know any field stream uh, walmart what have you um, I'm not gonna not gonna mince words or, or split hairs on that. I definitely think this is worth ten bucks. Do I think this box is worth $150? Hell no! Hell no! And every box is getting progressively worse from Fishbowl. So as always, I do these to elaborate and give clarity to all of you out there as to what to expect. So as always, as I say, everything's a buyer beware. But I do enjoy the fact that I have an opportunity. Uh, I'm gracious enough and lucky enough to show you where things and where companies stand. So you know what companies to uh, go for, what companies to avoid, when companies are truthful and honest or dishonest, when they start out with great intentions and show promise and fall off the ledge and burn in infamy. Uh, with all that said, give me your comments. What do you think about this, uh, this June package? What do you think about the prior packages? Have you gone through and seen my prior fish bolts? And my Angler's Hall. Go back and check some of the Angler's Hall content out when it first arrived. Um, apples to oranges. Angler's Hall, if they started shipping again, I would be very happy. Uh, as it stands, I'm very dismayed. The fact that I have not heard from them. I've sent emails. I'm just not having a line of communication with them, which is upsetting. Uh, and especially as much as the, the uh, principal owner actually went out of his way to help me out in the old episodes when I ordered a past due version when we got a because I got the Angler's Hall Advance the top tier as I always get the top tier of everything uh, because I figure I want to see them at their best I I know they're going to give less quality to lower price points so I want to see where their bar is so I want them to set a high bar I want to see what that bar is if they fell at the top level I don't mince you know I don't have any suspect that at the bottom tiers they're going to give you garbage that's my rationale. That's how I think about it. That being said, uh, I got the top tier anglers hall advanced 
package, and at that one month, they only gave us one thing, which was a $150 rod. Uh, so the people who only got the pro tier, the, the, the second range, because I only had two tiers, the first tier range, they got a package of products, and I never got a chance to see them. So I contacted Angler's Hall, and I was happy that they shipped me out that, that box of that month uh, of the first class tier so that I could see, oh, well, this is what I missed out on, because otherwise I never would have known. And that was cool, and I got, and there was some really good stuff, even in the lower tier, comparative to just being, you know, just the, the rod itself. Um, with that all said, again, give me your comments, uh, like, share, and subscribe as always, and uh, I hope to give you better and more content as the days and years roll on. Uh, with that said, I'm going to open up a new uh, prize thing. We're getting close to the Christmas in July. Um, I've got a a big box of goodies back there. I hope you've all been seeing the wheels turn, seeing things added to it. Some things have been added that aren't revealed on the video. But somebody is going to be very lucky. With that said, after that giveaway, I'm going to start a promotion. Seven days of giveaways. A week's worth of things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my old MTB regular boxes, my old MTB Pro boxes, my old MTB Elite boxes, um, my Rush Tackle boxes, the empties that I've accumulated over all this time as we do in the monthly subscription genre and I'm going to throw random goodies in them. Some boxes are going to be hit or miss. Some boxes might have one item and that item might be garbage. Some boxes might have 15 items and all 15 items might be garbage. Some item, some box might have one item but it might be a $250 gift card. You never know. So with that said, um, I'm looking forward to starting that up after my Christmas in July, and uh, I'm going to be giving away boxes periodically, just randomly, um, and I'm certainly actually thinking about, as I travel around to different places, just leaving random boxes for, you know, passers-by to grab a couple of little trinkets of fishing gear, you know, here and there, lures and whatnot. Uh, give me your opinions on that as well, down in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me. Uh, keep your lines wet and tight. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.